In this course tutorial, you'll learn how to achieve fake reflections on any surface. Basically, you'll be able to get certain parts of your object to reflect different colors without having to change the lighting or the background. But depending on how you use it, it can create some very nice and cool looking scenes. This will be a very short and easy tutorial, so let's get started. So let's start off with something simple, like a sphere. Go into the node editor and click Shift A, and let's add in a noise texture node, just to start off with, and then a texture coordinate node. Connect the reflection output of the texture coordinate node into the noise texture input, and the noise texture output into the object's glossy shader's color input. Instead of a white reflection, we now get a colorful reflection from the noise texture. The parts of the object closest to the light source will reflect the colors. You can even use an RGB curves node to adjust the contrast and the color levels. Alright, and now let's try it on a more complex object. In this case, we'll use different nodes to show off more of what you can do to create fake but fancy reflections. Go ahead and click Shift A again, but this time let's add an image texture node instead of a noise texture, and we're still going to use the texture coordinate node. Now let's add in our custom image, but it doesn't matter what color, the details, or size. After you add your texture in, connect the image texture's color output into the object's glossy shader's color input. Before we really change up the reflections, let's add in an RGB curves node. Go ahead and play around with the curves, you can get some interesting results for the reflection. You can match it with the object's diffuse however you want. After, let's add in a hue and saturation node. This is to make some final adjustments to the reflection's color before we do the final reflection trick. And now, the last thing we're going to do is add a mapping node. Yup, <laughs> that, 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 that's literally it. Thanks for following for the watch bait. But in all seriousness, we can now adjust and rotate our texture around, in case if there's a specific part of the texture that you want to have the object reflect in the camera's view. Alright, thanks for watching! This trick wasn't to make your scenes look any more realistic, but instead something that you could test out on your reflective models that would just make you waste time, because in the end, you're not actually going to use this trick for any renders. <laughs> I'm just trying to be funny. But thanks for watching! If you found this tutorial interesting or learned something awesome, which you should have, if not, you just wasted 4 minutes of your life, leave a like on this video to show your support and subscribe to the channel to keep up with my tutorials. Thanks for watching and get a bonbon!